today we're going to see some serious deep opening preparation for black. You're going to learn some uh, Grandmaster secrets in the opening, so stay tuned. This is from Slovenia. That's why the setup is a little different. I'm playing uh, the uh, European uh, Team Championship for Denmark. I'm doing horrible at the moment. I hope it will get better. I got zero out of two. That was not what I was hoping for, but maybe I'm sitting out today. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, find my, my posture and, and start to play better because it can it cannot get any worse than it's been so far. Anyway, let's get on with the game. It's Denmark versus Germany. It's the big talent, Vincent Keimer versus the Danish big talent, uh, Jonas Bjerre. And uh, Jonas came very well prepared. Uh, he is black. Uh, Keimer sometimes plays knight f3 and e3 and c4. He's been doing that a lot uh, online, but in real chess, uh, he seems to stick with d4. He is being trained by uh, Peter Leko, who is sort of a legend in preparation. He's really good at preparing uh, the openings, so it's kind of nice to out-prepare Peter Leko. And it's all, by the way, I cannot take any credit. It's all uh, Pierre's uh, preparation. This is what uh, Jonas usually does. He plays uh, the Ragosin or the Nimso Indian. And here we have the Ragosin. Uh, the main lines here are um, Queen A4, Bishop D5, and C takes D5. Uh, another move is G3 transposing to a, a not very good variation of the Catalan. And you can also play e3, and we transpose to the Nimso Indian Rubinstein complex. Castle is also normal. And here, uh, Kaima plays this move. This has become uh, rather popular uh, in, in recent years. White uh, simply aimed to take back with the bishop, not having his pawn structure damaged in any way. If, if Black takes on, on c3, and he's also clearing the c-file to have a rook here. Uh, I think it was the German Grandmaster René Stern who started with this uh, line many years ago. He got no credit for it, but uh, nowadays it's very popular in top tournaments, and Jonas has played against it several times. Actually, I did play this against Jonas with White once and uh, won a, a nice game. I think I have shown it here on GM Talks. Okay. B6. This is what Jonas usually does. This setup with the bishop on b7 and d5 without c5 is has a very good reputation for black and is of course very healthy. It looks kind of good. We are uh, all working in the Nimso Indian. This square is one of the most important squares on the board. Take and black takes. Uh, white takes before he develops his bishop, so he will not have to lose a tempo if d takes c4. Rook e8, and black plays very precisely here. He's getting ready for uh, a3 and playing bishop f8, or he might even play bishop f8 anyway. We see that white has spent a lot of time putting his bishop on this square with the sole purpose of uh, preventing a double pawn here. So it makes no sense to take on c3 anymore. And the bishop might just go back where, and this bishop here is probably a better piece than this bishop here, right? B7, castle, and bishop f8. And all this was prepared by, uh, and it's been played many times before. It's another setup for black here is to go a6 and bishop d6. This was played in the... Um, in a game by Isipenko, uh, also in this tournament, where when Russia won against, I don't remember who. Bishop f8 is uh, Jonas's setup, uh, going all the way back, uh, which is also looks rather elegant, having played rook e8. Knight e5, and, and white is getting ready for, uh, for a setup with f4 and trying to attack on the king side. This knight here is extremely strong, and uh, and if this bishop, for instance, is getting here, then you will have a perfect Pillsbury attack. And we have seen in the Carlsbad structure uh, 
uh, course that it's very dangerous if you are allowed to set that up. But Jonas is very well prepared. C5, F4, and uh, two moves is all it takes. And Bishop H4. Um, Knight C6, threatening here. Uh, here, oops, sorry. Here, uh, White can actually take on D5. Uh, which is the computer's uh, main suggestion. You can't take back with the knight due to bishop takes h7, and you're just getting killed. The, by the way, this is very instructive. Take here, here, and the queen comes in like this, and check, and this is, is a disaster. Uh, this one is coming here, and black is simply made it, or lose a lot of material. So, not much fun here. Uh, this is, a, by the way, a very typical feature when e f7 is not covered. If the knight goes, then bishop take and the knight on e5, bishop takes h7 is almost always good. So be very aware of that. So white, black will have to take here. And what now? It looks dangerous. Well, the thing is, you can just play back and queen c7, and, and there are no good uh, checks. Uh, nothing uh, serious will happen. Nothing is when you can win the exchange. But you can also be really cool and take here and um, play something like uh, like this. And uh, here you only have two minor pieces for uh, for the queen, but you have fantastic uh, positional compensation. And the computer actually thinks this position is equal. Which means that black really, really has good compensation. Uh, the the bishops are, are are awesome, especially this one, and uh, and the rooks are all in the good position. And white's king is not safe. Uh, and I, I think this would be cool. By the way, notice that instead of taking material back, giving up his good bishop, um, white black just simply plays for for activity. So. But knight d5, uh, I think Jonas would just play queen c7 and, and have accepted the draw by perpetual check. Knight e2, that's part of the plan. Um, there was this way for the bishop, but there's also this way for the bishop. So, um, and no matter what, it's uh, it will bear down on f6, which is this knight here is 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 sort of uh, holding black's position together, but it's also uh, very important in 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 the defense and in offense and it's altogether it's very important piece rook c8 and uh, black is still in preparation here all looks very natural uh, bishop e1 and knight e4 and all this uh, jonas didn't play so fast and that was on purpose but this is is all preparation and black is already uh, equal here threatening to to get rid of this guy probably but also preventing bishop h4 it's not so easy to uh, to get the pieces out and black all had good pieces but there is one idea and the computer spots it immediately bishop takes d takes and here comes the move uh, we just gave up your great bishop to play this move now that looks, and I, I, when I saw this on the screen, I thought, oh, and Jonas was thinking, and I thought, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is uh, this is not going going well. I was sitting out uh, during the round. Uh, you have, of course have to take, otherwise it, the knight will go back and you're just dead. You just lost the most important pawn in your position. So you have to take, check, and notice you cannot go back. You cannot go to e7 due to... Uh, um, is is killed by this move and you cannot uh, put the rook here because of this move so there is only one move uh, a king of six piece of base for king and and that is not king g6 because then black will uh, white will get a fantastic attack you have to this is spurs or something and here uh, jonas who has been playing rather slowly started to play really fast <laughs> <laughs> which was, and Kaimo started to think a lot, c4, very important move. Um, of course, stopping the queen, but also putting the queen into uh, this uh, and winning an important tempo later. So take is, is mandatory, king g6, f5, king h6, and it still looks very, very, very scary, but... It's, it is not so bad, because after this move, uh, Jonas immediately played this move. And that was 
<laughs> that was a surprise, I guess. Um, the thing is, there is no uh, no great uh, checks at all here. And for instance, and it looks it looks insane, but but this just is met by this move, and and there's simply <laughs> there's simply nothing. Notice that the queen is being attacked <laughs> by a lot of pieces, so the queen will have to go and. Uh, and what to do here? And and if if something like this, you just take back and and here, and the queen is under attack here. Uh, so black has time, and the king will get into safety eventually. So instead, he played queen e8, d8, preparing bishop f4 check, um, which would then be mating. But there is bishop e7 again. The queen is not very happy here and Jonas was playing instantly here this was all preparation it's kind of cool to let people take on f7 and you just come prepared everything I, I really like this kind of preparation that's just so cool okay take here and of course the uh, the ending is, is bad so you have to to take back you're still threatening the queen you're covering uh, you're covering this square here check and bishop f4 g5 is necessary otherwise you'll get made it and the queen is still under attack here so you have to take king can't take because the queen takes uh, g7 so queen takes but now comes the counter attack and the king the attack is 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 more or less over because check here oops that was not nice rook something then knight d3 or knight d4 just wins there's no uh, nothing no problems for for black there so and check and attacks uh, here and um, and this was Jonas preparation <laughs> this is where he got to and here uh, Kaima had uh, five minutes left and uh, was thinking like crazy and here he made the uh, a fatal mistake or maybe not fatal but a, uh, anyway a, a clear mistake he played here in this position this moves holes <laughs> and uh, and because white ha does not have enough of an attack the uh, black so he has to keep attacking the rook and uh, and and this is is is, <laughs> is is the is is a draw according to the computer so it was all a draw if black in this white in this position with little time on the clock found this maneuver not very likely and he didn't he played rook c1 very natural uh, going for the the open c file and there's a check here attacking the knight attacking the bishop but knight d3 uh, and we know that queen and knight often are very good in close combat with the king um, rook c5 king d6 and here he makes a mistake. The only move here is, I think, h3, um, and waiting for uh, with, the, with the check because the king is much better on f4, uh, getting out of of a problem and actually helping in the attack. So here, but it's it's was impossible to see. And and anyway, black has better chances here. Uh, and now it's it's really bad. And here, of course, uh, King F G1 was was the only move. Uh, black White will will Black will 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 give a check and take an F5, and uh, and his king will get back into uh, it will get closer to the White King, and and uh, the computer says plus three and a half or something, and I think Black is winning, but it's it's not game over yet. But when he played this move, it is because now it's a forced mate. So I'll just give you uh, 10 seconds to to see if you can calculate uh, the mate. It's uh, it's maybe difficult, but it's kind of a good exercise. These kind of situations with knight and uh, queen uh, happens a lot. And I can give you a little hint: the king is helping with the mating attack here. But okay, check. It's natural check of course there's a pin and uh, king f1 is is of course completely lost to to this uh, move so get back and uh, not having a check again um, please notice there's also 
this kind of uh, thing you should be worried about. So don't put the knight on d2, d4 to you know, ch check, always see this. And of course, after this move, there is queen d1, take. And that's, that's kind of a sweet mate, I think. I kind of like it. Anyway, this was uh, some serious preparation uh, for Jonas Bjerre. And also, he did play a perfect game, actually. And beating Kaima is very important for Jonas because they have been like competitors forever. And then just Kaima, he just took off and Jonas was, was standing on the platform with, uh, and, and Kaima is, uh, well, at 26.50 or something. And, and so it's, it's nice to see that Jonas is not that far behind. We are still hoping in uh, Denmark that uh, Jonas will be a big star. Thank you for watching. This was GM Talks. And uh, if you have comments or suggestions, um, just uh, leave them in the commentary. Uh, and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.